Alrighty, let's go on to the next question. Alright, so in Germany, there's a thing called Rent a Jew, where you could talk to a Jew about Jewish things in Germany. So basically, you pay a fee to rent the Jew for the day and talk to him, depending on how much you pay. Do you think it's a good idea to have a rent a Jew in Germany? <laughs> Red the Jew, my Buddha. At first, I thought it sounds so racist, but then it could be just uh, what you talk with them about Jewish stuff. Yeah, you learn more about Jewish culture, apparently. <laughs> well, that just might work, my Buddha. But the... So, uh, <clears throat> at least as. The neo-Nazis are not uh, trying to uh, trick them, yes, and <laughs> kill them, my Buddha. <laughs> uh, I hope uh, they are safe. Oh my goodness. So, considering it's in Germany, could this be seen as anti-Semitic? Well, my Buddha, I would think the people who put up such a program would be Jewish. Yeah, they are Jewish, but people are saying that it's not a good idea to rent a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> How would you well, feel Buddha, about it? It depends on what you do with the Jew after you rent it. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, now you're classifying it as a thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not. It is rent a Jew. You said rewind it is rent a Jew, so you rent a Jew, and you do whatever. Rewind the tape. Rewind the you tape. You do whatever you want with the Jew. It would sound like that, but as long as it is just talking about Jewish stuff, that I don't think there should be problem. Alrighty. Alright, next one. If you make the Jew do nasty stuff, then I don't think that is good idea, my brother. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Right, but next as one. long as you leave the Jew alone, just leave the Jew alone. After <laughs> you talk to him, then there should be no problem. Alrighty. Uh, the next question is: There's a new challenge. It's not really a challenge, but more stupidity. So after the Tide Pod challenge, instead, teens are resorting to snorting condoms in the nose and out of the mouth. So basically, the goal of uh... <laughs> that's pretty disgusting. Fucking nasty. Are we talking about clean ones or used ones? I assume clean. <laughs> <laughs> that does make a difference, doesn't it, my Buddha? <laughs> it really does. A big difference. Their own? Their but own I used have... ones or somebody else's? No, probably probably new. I mean, I would hope <laughs> it's new. <laughs> I have seen somebody do that with a what are you, rubber band. I feel it would be a problem if the condom, since it's so big, if it gets stuck out, up your nose. What are you going to do? Man. You're going to go to the hospital and you're going to tell the nurse what happened. That you snorted a condom up your nose and now it is stuck. And now you need a grown person to help you get it out of your nose. I would not like to be in that situation, my brother. <laughs> what, what do you Me think? Either. Why do you think people do these stupid challenges? Because people like to live on the edge, my Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> that is why they do stupid stuff like base jumping and all kinds of crazy stuff where they put their lives on the line. Or jumping around the top building, parkour. Yeah, like in Russia where the kids climb these crazy tall buildings. I I've just seen those videos. hang down with only one hand, it is crazy, <clears throat> my Buddha, but they are seeking the adrenaline, adrenaline the salt of life. But wait, can you get that a... Seat for them. You can get an adrenaline rush from snorting a condom? <laughs> <laughs> well, so sure, if there are many out. people looking at you and you're trying to impress them, <laughs> then it might work. Okay. Or if there's cocaine in the, in the condom. You gotta impress Some the people girls, story right? there. Oh, what shit. is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a penguin. I thought it's the penguin was over. 
I thought we got rid of you. Put it away, my brother. Put it away. Oh my goodness. It is difficult to do an interview with all the Godzillas and all the crazy penguins trying to rob you. <laughs> Wait, we're on to we the... Just, you. just one more question. <laughs> Go ahead, my Buddha. <laughs> right, so in Malaysia, they're going to outlaw fake news and basically they're going to give you up to six years in jail for posting fake news. So there's fears of law, the laws being broken and the fears of freedom of speech being suppressed. How how would you handle the fake news? Well, that depends if you make a fake news by accident, by having wrong information, and you think it is true and you broadcast that shit. Well, that is not as bad as making up stuff, making up these stories for your own benefit. That is totally different. Later you nice. can apologize for false information, but if you are trying to screw people over with your lies, that is totally different story, my Buddha. Yeah, but I don't think there's really no way to tell the difference unless they find out you're from Russia. Yes, and it is still hard to just make... How can you make fake news illegal? Is there a police running around every time somebody makes a mistake and catches them maybe I, I mean I'm not sure how they're gonna enforce it they originally actually wanted 10 years in jail but they lowered it down to six years ooh that is rough my Buddha we should make people we should teach them to be more observant because the internet is full of bullshit and you have to separate the bullshit from real then you have. <laughs> yes, man, but, uh, but that is so important. I'm trying to tell people, but they they are too obsessed with their iPhones. <laughs> and Androids, and video games, and VR chat. No, the, actually, the Android users, they are usually smarter. <laughs> Whoa. That's they a, listen. That's a bold <laughs> statement. <laughs> 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 I want to agree, I but I don't want to piss off anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I have said so many stupid things already. I have probably pissed out most of the people. Yeah, so there is no going back at this point. <laughs> it's very, very much deep. Right, yeah, again, done. why do all the girls try to murder me? <laughs> Stay behind <laughs> me, my brother. I'll have to show the ladies. How do you know I'm a lady? Either they run away or they try to murder me. <laughs> <laughs> it's called target practice. Get back here, boy. <laughs> I'm coming for that booty. Oh no. Oh, oh god, no. he wants the booty. <laughs> he was a Ugandan booty. Oh, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I lost her. You can't run away from your I only require an aid from now, I can't die. Speed on him, I will kind of burn out. Oh my god.